Look, I know how difficult this is for you. Difficult? Really? You refuse to take the medication that could keep you from going blind? I refuse to take medication that could harm our unborn child. And you refuse to accept that. Angela, you are brave, you are strong, but you also have to be realistic. This sacrifice that you want to make here is just so huge. I don't see it that way. Because this infection, this disease may take my vision, but that's it. I will have a healthy baby. I will live my life. I can do this, Jesse. I want to help. Then trust me. Trust me to handle what's ahead, okay? Because my confidence is growing every day. But Jesse, if you keep looking over my shoulder all the time, it's, 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 it's gonna undermine that confidence. Now, I know that you are doing this out of love, sweetheart, but what I really need you to do is just... Hey, everything all right? Mm. Your father and I are just discussing my competence. Look, if I need help, Frankie is here. Jake is here. So you need to go and do what you need to do. Like reschedule that meeting with Mayor Blanco. Convince her to lift this ridiculous suspension so that you can go back to work. Go back to your routine. Like I'm doing. If you need anything... I will call. All right. Keep your eye on me, all right? Do me a favor. I love you, Chief Albert. I love you too, baby. I love you too. I love you too. I'm serious. I need you to keep your eye on her. Look, you know Mom doesn't like to be watched, and I'm certainly not trying to get strangled by her stethoscope when she catches me doing it. Franklin, your mother is not doing enough to take care of herself right now. I need you to pick up the slack. All right, so what's going on with this looking into alternative treatments? Have you found anything? I helped Mom do some research. We discussed the options with Dr. Belden this morning. And? And uh, they're not viable while she's pregnant. <sighs> Keep on it. Find something. Wow. Bianca really got tense when you mentioned Reese called. Well, I've been apart for weeks. Can't be easy. A couple doesn't need to be attached at the hip to have a strong relationship, Madison. Sometimes a little distance is good. Going away and doing something by myself for once actually re-energized me. And Frankie, too. We're doing marketing events in San Francisco, Seattle, Vancouver. Whose schedule is this? Mine. After that first uh, photo shoot for Fusion, they asked me to be the spokesmodel. I hope after all this jetting around, you're gonna hang home for a little bit. Yeah, of course. Frankie really missed you while you were in Italy. A lot more than he's letting on. Fusion, hello. Yes, she is. Hold on just a moment. It's Reese. Hi. I told you last night, I'm not ready. You really gonna lock your wife away? No, that evidence is simply an insurance policy. Oh, come on. You know it's not. You know this is something to hold over Greenlee's head, to control her, so she doesn't, what, escape? I knew you were insecure about that. No, 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 I am not insecure about anything. Oh. Greenlee is meant to be with me. She will never be happy with Ryan because Ryan will never love her or accept her as she really is. Okay, then why do you need this? All right, are you supposed to be my lawyer or my marriage counselor? Actually, right now, I'm trying to be your friend. And why would you want to do that? Because, David, you and I could fit everybody in this town who actually likes us into a phone booth. Mm. And still have plenty of room for us. Okay, so as your lawyer, I'm obliged to keep quiet, but as your friend, as your buddy in the phone booth, my advice to you, just make sure that Greenlee never finds out that you'd actually use that to threaten her. Hmm. She already knows.
What? Oh, it's 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 cool, but how much you seem to care about Ryan and Greenlee still, you know, even after everything that went down. Yeah, well, I don't really have a choice. It's crazy. I mean, the three of us were like some whacked out arranged marriage. I think we're stuck together whether we like it or not. Hmm. Okay, you know what? I need a break. Can you just call me if there's any news? You got it. Thanks. I remember walking through the park that day, seeing you lying on the ground, unconscious. David standing over you, doing nothing to help you. I couldn't help thinking that if I hadn't shown up when I did, he would have let you die. I asked David for separation. And I thought he was okay with it. So when he insisted that I go to dinner with him, I said yes. He pulled out my chair for me. He, he poured me some wine. And then he threatened to send me to prison. He's blackmailing me to stay with him.